breaking $1.3 billion welfare scandal exposed. Money gone forever. One of the most common arguments made by pro-immigration advocates is that immigrants are a great source of wealth for the country. New information from Los Angeles County shows just the opposite. The Department of Social Services has reported that between 2015 and 2016, Los Angeles County, California paid illegal immigrant families $1.3 billion in welfare. Isn't that terrific? According to Fox News, that's almost one quarter of all the public money spent in the county. And that's only one county for $1.3 billion in welfare? You've got to be kidding me, man. Los Angeles is not only a, quote, sanctuary city, but Los Angeles County contains the highest concentration of illegal immigrants in the country. Shouldn't we all be cheering right now, right? The Conservative Heritage Foundation discovered that every illegal immigrant family receives approximately $24,000 per year in government money. That means they get paid $3 for every $1 they spend. And then yet we have our vets in California sleeping in the streets, right? Isn't that great? What a way, great way to run a country. In other words, illegal immigration represents a net drain on the American economy with illegal immigrants receiving more money in welfare than they pay in the form of taxes, which most illegal immigrants do not pay. Many scholars have been saying this for years, but until Donald Trump took office, they were either not taken seriously or cast aside as, quote, racist, and, quote, xenophobes. Peter Brinelow's 1995 book, Alien Nation, Common Sense About America's Immigration Disaster, which relied on census data to show that illegal immigration and the 1965 Hart Seller Act caused incredible damage to the American economy, but also have drastically changed the ethnic and religious makeup of the country was savaged by mainstream critics because that didn't fit their agenda, of course. It turns out that Mr. Brimelow, who currently runs the V. Dare Journal and website, was right, thanks to the illegal and legal importation of millions of low-skilled immigrants, American workers who lack college diplomas, have seen their opportunities dwindle and their wages drop or remain stagnant. This, of course, has led to the type of income inequality that became the rallying cry of Bernie Sanders and his supporters in 2016. Another idiot, Bernie Sanders, and the idiot supporters of Bernie Sanders. Well, I guess they're a little less... Uh, than, than the Hillary supporters. They're totally deranged. On the welfare front, post-1965, immigrants have been some of the biggest participants in American largest. Um, more than half of all American uh, America's immigrants, whether legal or illegal, are on some form of welfare. 73% of all Hispanic immigrant households in America are on welfare, while 48% of African immigrants and 32% of East Asian households are also on the dole. Uh, overall, 40% of immigrant households use food stamps compared to 22% of native-born households. 42% of immigrant households use Medicaid compared to 23% of native-born households. And 12% of immigrant households use federal cash programs compared to 10% of native-born households. 
barring the moral question of allowing immigrants to come into this country and immediately receive public benefits is rampant welfare usage, is further balkanizing America's frayed racial climate. While legal and illegal immigrants hurt the native-born black community by driving down wages and taking jobs away, um, white Americans are increasingly noting that their hard-earned money is going to both immigrants and the native-born black community. According to some, the average American will pay thousands in welfare handouts over the course of a lifetime. Rich and wealthy Americans may actually pay over a million uh, in what amounts to essentially handouts. Los Angeles County and the American government should be widely shamed for rewarding criminals with the money earned by American citizens. This is outright theft. Actually, it is. But they fail to mention they're talking about black. Why are they talking about Asian? You see, why are they, where, where are the Muslims in this? That's, uh, that's what they call them now? Uh, they, they call them uh, the A East Asian, it says, households. What are you talking about? I don't really know a lot of uh, Chinese people, Asian people like that. They call them now, uh, the Muslims, they call them Asian. Uh, that, that I've discovered recently, you know, uh, through Britain. That's how they call them. When they get an attack on somebody that's from Muslim, they're Muslim, um, they call them Asian. <laughs> I've never heard of really Chinese people or uh, Japanese or whatever, you know. I mean... Uh, raping people like that. No, that you see what I'm saying? You see how they word things differently. They're starting it over here too now. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.